I doing? Come on, Tom. Am I, what, what's the matter? Am I sure girl like you should understand? Understand what? But, but I, 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 I love... I, I need you. I, I need you, Pamela. No, please, no. I said no. I hate it. And if you try... I'll tell my dad and your wife. No, no. Don't, don't say that. Try to understand. Yes, if you try anything to... I'll not hide it. All right, Pam. Please, f forget all what has happened, please. Forget all what has happened. I will leave it to yourself. Good night. Good night, Pamela. night I slept with one eye open. At least so I thought in the morning. But Mr. Nganga's strange behavior was a great worry for me. Put yourself in my situation. What could you have done? Yes, what could you have done if you were put in my place? Well, I see none of you has an opinion to make. So I'll tell you what I did. The following morning, after he had gone to work, I tried to phone my dad in order to report the incident to him. But the line just couldn't pass. I was really furious and wanted to go back to Dwala. Indeed, I cannot say what he had on his mind. But when I told him I wanted to go back to Dwala, he refused. And his reasons were genuine. My dad had already gone to Lagos, and Mr. Nganga reasoned that I would be lonely in Dwala. And because classes in the university were only to begin early November, he suggested that I stay back with him in Yaoundé and get used to the environment. Moreover, the admission list into the dormitory could only be expected to be out around the second week of November. And we're still in the first week of October. That meant five weeks of waiting. I was really disillusioned. There was no other place I could go to. Mr. Ngange, however, promised to make me happy and took me out one evening. 